Thorin and his company are being pursued by Azog and his orc party following the events of the previous film. They are ushered along by Gandalf to the nearby home of Beorn, a skin changer who can take the form of a bear. That night, Azog is summoned to Dol Guldur by the necromancer who commands him to marshal his forces for war. Azog then delegates the hunt for Thorin to his son Bolg. The following day, Beorn escorts the company to the borders of Mirkwood, where Gandalf discovers black speech imprinted on an old ruin. This coincides with a telepathic message from Galadriel, urging him to investigate the tombs of the Nazgul. He warns the company to remain on the path and leaves them. Upon entering the forest, they lose their way and are ensnared by giant spiders. Bilbo then sets about freeing the dwarves with the help of his recently acquired invisibility ring. He subsequently drops the ring and first begins to understand its dark influence after he brutally kills a creature to retrieve it. The remaining spiders are fended off by the wood elves led by Toriel and Legolas. They also capture the dwarves and bring Thorin before their king Thranduil. Thorin confronts the elven king about his neglect of the dwarves of Erebor following Smaug's attack 170 years earlier and is consequently imprisoned with the other dwarves. Bilbo, having avoided capture, arranges an escape using empty wine barrels that are sent downstream. While being pursued by the wood elves, they are ambushed by Bolg and his orc party, and one of the dwarves named Keeley is wounded with a morgul shaft. They engage in a running three-way battle down the river, but ultimately the dwarves are able to escape both groups of pursuers. Thranduil then seals off his kingdom when an orc captive reveals an evil entity has returned and is amassing an army in the south, but Toriel decides to leave and assist the dwarves, and Legolas goes after her. Meanwhile, Gandalf and Radagast go to investigate the tombs of the Nazgul, which they find to be empty. The company is smuggled into Esgaroth by a bargeman called Bard. Thorin promises the master and the people of Lake Town a share of the mountain's treasure. It is then revealed that Bard is a descendant of the last ruler of Dale and possesses the last black arrow capable of killing Smaug. Keeley is forced to remain behind, tended to by a few of the other dwarves, as the remaining company receives a grand farewell. Meanwhile, Gandalf travels south to the ruins of Dol Guldur, while Radagast leaves to warn Galadriel of their discovery at the tombs of the Nazgul. Gandalf finds the ruins infested with orcs and is ambushed by Azog. The necromancer overpowers and defeats Gandalf, and reveals himself as Sauron. Thorin and his remaining company reach the Lonely Mountain, where Bilbo discovers the hidden entrance. He is sent in to retrieve the Arken Stone, and while doing so, he accidentally awakens Smaug. While conversing with Bilbo, Smaug reveals his knowledge of both the dwarves' plot to retake the gold and the return of Sauron. Back in Lake Town, Bard attempts to bring the Black Arrow to the town's launcher, as he fears what may happen when the dwarves enter the mountain. However, he is arrested by the master and his conniving servant, Alfred, in the process, and gives the arrow to his son to hide. Bolg and his orc party then infiltrate the town and attack the four dwarves that stayed behind, but are quickly dispatched following the arrival of Toriel and Legolas. Toriel then tends to Keeley. While Keeley is recovering, he openly admires Toriel's beauty and wonders if she loves him. Legolas leaves in pursuit of Bolg. Meanwhile, Gandalf watches helplessly as Azog and an orc army march from Dol Guldur towards the Lonely Mountain. Back inside the mountain, during a long chase, Bilbo and the dwarves rekindle the mountain's forge using Smaug's flames to create and melt a large golden statue, hoping to bury Smaug alive in the molten gold. They do so, but Smaug emerges from the gold, stumbles out of the mountain, and flies off to destroy Lake Town as Bilbo watches after him in horror and despair.